Hi everybody! In today's video, I am going to show you some different bath time activities that you can do with your children to make bath a little bit more fun. First, I wanted to show you some of my kids' favorite bath toys, the ones that have lasted forever and that are just great quality. So the first one is our Batat bath bar. We got this at Target and it suctions to your wall and then there's four different ways you can play with it. There's a scoop, there is this spinning thing. There's supposed to be a funnel right there and my kids broke it. So now they can just do it with the scoop. Then they have the spinning wheel and then they have a little sink right there. And this thing has been amazing and they play with it every single time we get in the bath. Another favorite of my kiddos are these little cups with the holes in them. And these are pretty much sold at any dollar store, sometimes at the Target dollar spot. Only a dollar and you get four cups. There's supposed to be a blue one somewhere. I'm not sure where it's at. But we have had these since my five-year-old was an infant, and this is still their number one favorite bath toy that they play with every single time. You'd think they'd get tired of it, and they do not. And then lastly is this little watering can. We got this at the Target dollar spot when my five-year-old was an infant, and he still loves it as well. So look at your um, dollar store, especially during the summer. They usually have it with a bath with the summer toys and yeah great bath item one of my kids favorite activities go-to activity is using our foam puzzles in the bath so all you would do is take the background of your foam puzzle get it wet so it will stick to the wall and then you would just do the puzzle like you would any other time but the fact that it's vertical and stuck to the wall makes it a lot of fun for the kids we also have several other foam puzzles here to choose from and you can get these at dollar stores or in the dollar sections of a lot of stores like CVS and things like that. We have several to choose from and the kids just think it's a lot of fun. I recommend it. Of course you can make any kind of activity you could possibly think of using foam. Foam is a great option for doing any kind of DIY project. So this is one that I made a couple years ago I believe and we did this when we were talking about firefighters and so why not bring the activity to bath time, right? So I made little fires out of foam sheets and then I put the letters that go to their names on the little flames. And then to make it more fun, we add a little squirt bottle. So what they needed to do, um, this one, this particular bottle doesn't change like how hard the stream is, but we do have one um, out on my balcony that you can change it to the hard stream instead of just the spritz. See, this one's just the spritz. So. This wasn't the right bottle to bring, but anyway, they would use the hard stream to shoot the flame off. And so I wish I had grabbed that bottle now, but anyway, um, when you do that hard stream, it'll knock the flame off. So it's the firefighters are putting out the fires and they have to find the letters of their name. It's a lot of fun. Another activity I would recommend putting together and this again can be used for anything, but if you made foam shapes such as Halloween, uh, just happened you could make pumpkins and then make little black pieces to make the pumpkin faces or right now we have Christmas coming up so you can make a Christmas tree and then make a bunch of ornaments so that while they're in here they can decorate their Christmas tree anything like that another super simple activity you could do is giving your child strainers and then you would just put anything in here that will float right now I'm using those same letters but you could do anything uh, the balls balloons pom-poms just anything that will float and then give them some strainers. We have one of their pretend ones, and then we have two different strainers from our kitchen. Give them the strainers, and then they can have fun um, scooping up the letters. You could even do it as a letter search. Can you find the letter M, and they have to scoop it out? Things like that. All you need is strainers. All right, another activity is to go fishing. So we have this fishing set from Batat and it just has the magnet on the end here and the fish are magnetic and so just have fun fishing while you're in the bath Yay! if you didn't have this particular fishing set i have also made some fish out of foam put letters on them and paper clips and then they would have to go on a letter search with this as well so i have capital on one side and lowercase on the other and then again they could go fishing Four letters, find the letter S. And, oh, I grabbed two, but anyway, there you go. <laughs> Another must have item for us are these Crayola bath crayons. 
I had picked these up at Goodwill a while ago and we still have them. They've lasted a long time and all you do is push them up this way. And then this is great for kids to draw pictures or right now my five year old is learning how to write. So this is just a great way for him to practice writing his letters. Another favorite item for us are these color bath drops from Crayola. They sometimes have these in the Target Dollar Spot, just a little package that you could use as a like stocking stuffer type thing, but there's only a few of them in the bag for a dollar. And that's what we used to do, that's how we discovered these. And then we thought there's got to be a better deal. So they have these at Target in the like bath wash area for kids, and this is 60 tablets for right under five dollars so this is definitely the much better deal and we have been getting these for years and we still love them so this one's almost running out but i do have another package <laughs> um, in our cabinet but they have red yellow and purple right no red yellow and blue sorry it looks purple but it's actually red and then you can mix colors and just have a really fun bath so i will show you right now in case you haven't seen it Something as simple as adding some color to your bath will make bath time a lot more fun. Alright, last activity is bubble bath, but with a twist. So I have gathered some activities here, or some items I mean, that are items that will either sink or items that will float. So this is a great time to kind of introduce these concepts to the kids. So we have some bath toys, just, just random things in here. And so all you're going to do is dump them in there and then it's going to turn into a bubble bath, like search and find type game. So because you have the bubbles in there, it makes it hard to see the things on the bottom and even the things on the top can kind of hide a little bit. And so now all you would do is either let them go blindly just finding the items or you can say, if you remember what all you grabbed, you can say, can you find me the key? And then they will use their sense of touch to feel around and only grab the key. You don't want them picking up things and like, oh no, that's not it, oh no, that's not it. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but anyway. So then you would just have them find the item that you're asking for and then they can put everything in a little basket on the side and it's just a really fun game. I got a lock. I got a lock. Cool. All right, everybody, that's all the activities. I threw Aiden in and threw all the activities in, and he's having a blast. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from us. And leave a comment down below what your child's favorite pastime activity is so that we can all get some ideas. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.